Let's take a look at this problem taken from the 2008 India National Mathematical Olympiad. It says, find all triples P, X, Y such that P to the X equals 1 to the 4 plus 4, where P is a prime and X, Y are natural numbers. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. This is a pretty simple Dalvantin equation because there are um, a number of very obvious features that are, allows me to go very far um, from, the, from the original equation. The first one is that with a prime. Whenever there is a prime, P, in an equation, I will try to consider mod P or something similar so to um, decom so to optimize the decomposition of the other terms because primes are the uh, smallest components of numbers when we uh, consider its factors. Another good thing is that the other side, y to the 4 plus 4, can actually be factorized completely such that each term um, is also polynomial and the coefficients are integers. So Let's try to factorize the right-hand side and see how far we can go. So we start from the original equation, we factorize. And the way to factorize that is to add 4y squared in the middle and minus 4y squared at the end. So the equation is still balanced and at the same time, the first three terms is a perfect squared and the last term is also perfect squared. Then Factorize it, and we will get y squared plus 2 whole squared minus 2y whole squared. And so p to the x equals y squared plus 2y plus 2 times y squared minus 2y plus 2. Now, given that the product of these two polynomials is a power of p, then we divide into two cases. The first case is much more complicated, is that both of them are powers of p. As in, they are both divisible by p and are powers of p. And the other case is that one of them is 1, which means the other polynomial takes up all the powers of p. Now the first case is that if p divides both y squared plus 2y plus 2, and p divides y squared minus 2y plus 2, then I will, take the pro I will take the difference of the two dividends, which means p divides 4y. Then because p is a prime, that means p will either divide 4 or p would divide y. The case that p divides 4 is very easy because the only possible case for that to happen is that p is 2. So I would leave that aside and take a look at the case that what the p divides y. If p divides y, then well, we return to the original equation, which is this one. Then we know that p to the x and y to the 4 are both multiples of p. And so P would divide P to the X minus Y to the 4, which means, again, P divides 4. So regardless of both cases, regardless we have P divides 4 or P divides Y, we will still reach the fact that P divides 4. Therefore, P is 2. Now if p is 2, so 2 to the x equals y to the 4 plus 4. But now we know that 2 to the x is even, obviously, and 4 is also even, so y to the 4 is also even. And y is even, because we cannot have an odd power to be even, right? And so y is even, and y to the 4 is now divisible by 16.
Now we take a look at the two at the valuation of both sides. Is that um, it sounds like a very fancy term, but the meaning is simply um, the highest uh, power of two that can divide um, divide that expression. So the va to add the valuation of y to the four plus four is now two, because two to the two is the highest power of two that would divide this. One to the four is a multiple of sixteen, and so this thing is four mod is congruent to four mod sixteen, and so. X can only be two. But that's not possible, right? Because two to the two equals y to the four plus four and y is zero. Which is wrong. Y is a natural number, so y is to start from one. So now this case will not hold. That means we cannot have both polynomials, y squared plus 2y plus 2, or minus 2y plus 2, to be a power of p, or to be divisible by p. So one of them must be 1. And it's really obvious that should, um, it should be the smaller one, the smaller polynomial to be 1, uh, which is this, because we are doing minus 2y. You know that y is positive. And there's a very easy quadratic equation that will give us y equals 1. And so therefore, p to the x equals 1 plus 4, and so p equals 5, and x equals 1. So to conclude, P equals 5, x equals 1, y equals 1, and checking, p to the x equals 5, and y to the 4 plus 4 is also 5, so correct, and yay, we are done. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now. Thank you for your support. See you next time.